my name is Anthea Parker. Hi, I'm uh, Simon Jews. Hi, I'm Rhiannon Skilton. I'm the head of Sportline Services at Tenebus Cancer Care. In 2012, I decided that I wanted to do something a little bit different for Tenebus Cancer Care. And I have a, a massive passion of mountains. So I thought climbing some might be an option. I headed off to Nepal um, to the Annapurna region and climbed up to 10,000 feet to the top of Poon Hill. I went in July 2015 to Machu Picchu uh, for a seven day trek. We climbed uh, Kilimanjaro in October I think everyone's got a personal story. Mine's um, a sad one as well. I sadly lost my husband within three weeks to, to cancer. We were going to go to Machu Picchu when we retired. So I thought, well, why am I going to wait till I retire? Let's do it now, because life is too short. For a number of reasons. Uh, one was uh, for the fight against cancer. Uh, and secondly, that you know family members had fought and survived. Um, but we were inspired to help raise um, one million pounds for a lady called Elise. I believe so much in the charity that I work for. Um, I work on the support side, so I'm speaking to cancer patients and their families every single day of the year and absolutely love what, what we do as an organisation. But on a more personal note, um, a couple of weeks after I started working for the charity, my husband was diagnosed with a rare form of cancer and it felt like I needed to give something back. I uh, fundraised in well, a couple of ways, uh, did a tabletop sale, uh, where people came for lunch and obviously bought uh, various things from, from the tables. Um, did an afternoon tea where people came and bought cakes and whatever, gave donations, bought clothes. Um, but the biggest thing I did was a big concert. I'm fortunate to work in a really big school. Um, so I kind of used the facilities there and I would urge anybody to do that. If they've got any contacts is, is to use them. And um, we make quite a lot of money from that. We make about £4,000 from that. Initially I was daunted by the amount of money I thought I would have to raise for the challenge but having paid for the, the trip myself, the fundraising amount was totally up to me. So I decided to set myself a goal of about £3,000. I arranged a couple of concerts where I invited people along, they gave the services for free. Um, we created tickets for the event. We um, which was reasonably cheap, but then we made the money on the raffle. A good raffle is a killer opportunity to get plenty of money. But instead of a lot of little prizes, which are last year's unwanted Christmas presents, we created hampers. Um, we also use online fundraising. It's a fantastic way of, of getting um, additional funding from people who you may not see. Um, and there's also the opportunity to claim back gift aid through that, that method as well. A variety of things uh, from um, you know, collecting money on the doors uh, of pubs on international days, uh, all the way through to, to sort of setting up horse racing, uh, days out for friends and family and charging them tickets. Um, but most of all, it was just beating the drum around the great cause. Age is no barrier. I was the oldest on the trek. I'm not going to give away my age, but it's pretty ancient. Um, and uh, I, you know, did as well as the younger ones. It's all a, a case of mind over matter. If you really think you can do it and you want to do something enough, then I would say just go for it. Just do it. It will be the best thing that you've ever done. Uh, it'll give you so much, not just in terms for the charity, but also for you uh, as a personal life experience as well. Do it. Don't think twice. Um, it's a challenge of a lifetime. Do something every day that scares you a little bit. The training for Poon Hill was challenging. Um, there were sand dunes, they were climbing up 18 flights of stairs every hour or so. It, it was a bit of everything, but it was the most incredible experience of my life. It was the initially the fundraising and the camaraderie that went with it, um, along with then the sense of you know fulfilment, not just climbing the mountain, but raising an incredible amount of money. The best bit was meeting new people, meeting the people of Peru, who were absolutely lovely. Um, the achievement of getting to the top and saying, yeah, I've actually done it. Absolutely amazing. Ain't no mountain high enough Ain't no valley low enough Ain't no river wide enough
keep me away from Peru. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Yay!